Alrighty, so the next review I want to do is the Marvel Avengers 6 inch Captain America Walmart exclusive figure. A lot of people are giving this figure a lot of hate. Uh, some people like it. I am kind of in between. I like some things about it a lot, other things not so much. But first thing, it comes with this base just like all the other 6 inch figures. I don't care for these bases. If you want to know why, watch the review for Iron Man and I explain it all in there. Second thing, he comes with his trusty shield. Personally, I don't have a problem with it. It is a little bit small and a little bit maroon or burgundy compared to the red, but it's still not bad. The paint's solid, it is sculpted, it's textured. I like that they actually put straps in here instead of just having the same as before. They didn't paint the rivets still, but here's the thing with the straps. If you want it on his forearm, you have to really cinch him up like this. So you have a huge strap hanging down. Now I think the reason they gave us the straps is so you could put it on his back as well. And my phone's ringing so let me answer that. Back to the shield. The straps are there I think so you can have it go on his back. It fits, it does fit on there. It never does that in the movie though. And like I said to have the shield on his forearm the straps really look terrible. So it's kind of an unnecessary improvement which is really not an improvement at all. So. There are some pluses. It's not the soft rubber that I thought it was, so it's not terrible, but there are some problems. As far as Cap himself, paint app's not bad where there's paint. The stripes on the lower torso are all right. There's not too much bleeding. They're pretty even. The star is okay. Where there is paint, it's done well. Now the problem is, okay, up there it looks good too. The eyes look okay. A little bit of bleeding on the face, but uh, now the problem for this guy is he's really bright red and really bright blue molded plastic. No paint at all other than the silver, the stripes, and this dark blue up here. A little bit of gray down here, but in the colored areas there's no paint. So it looks really, really cheap and really, really bright. So I don't care for that very much at all. The sculpts are decent, but we don't have any paint work going on. It's just so bland looking, so I don't like that. Next thing I don't like, his groin. He's got the newer groin where he's got the T-jointed hips, which is nice. They're T-jointed ball disc hips, so that's okay. But the, I just don't like the sculpt work here. It kind of makes him look like he's wearing a Speedo. And that's the issue for all the figures with this joint. This bottom part comes down way too far. And this is really accentuated. It doesn't cover the hip, the ball joint at all. So this little shape right there just doesn't look good in my opinion. Articulation for the head. He has the disc in there, so it goes forward and backward. Pretty good range of motion, better than Iron Man even. And then it's on a ball joint, so it has the full range of motion. But the head is way bigger than the neck, so he's got a real skinny neck syndrome. Doesn't look good at all. Shoulders, same as always, shoulders are fine. Ball disc shoulders, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, that's all okay. No articulation in the hands other than the swivel at the forearm inside the glove. So that's it for that. Torso, pretty good range of motion on the torso. Biggest problem is it goes back really far and has this kind of big cliff right there, big overhang. And it doesn't go forward very far. So it's kind of weird. And then the back has this hump, humpback thing going on. It just, it's kind of weird looking. It's not really the right shape. Way too much back, not enough chest. But that's it. It does have some side to side motion. So that's nice actually. It's a good range of motion there. Just kind of awkward overall. I already talked about the hips, the thigh swivels built in, double jointed knees. Now the foot is the same as the new Marvel Legends design. There's the uh, disc hinge in there. And then the peg goes forward in the foot so it can rotate like that, which I still don't particularly care for. It's better than no ankle rocker at all, but it puts the foot at a weird angle. You can't just give him, you can't just turn his foot. You have to turn it and then it also moves it at an angle. So it's kind of not very natural. So I don't care for it to be honest. So he's not a bad figure. He's just, there's not a whole lot that's actually good about him. So am I going to recommend it? I am just because it's a pretty solid cap figure. There's just a lot of problems. So if you're uh if you're a completist, by all means get it. If you're only getting it to get it because it's a really good figure, then probably pass on it. So there he is guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the rest of the reviews, and in the meantime, keep collecting.